Hello, this is Joseph from Gorilla 3D. In this screencast, we're going over the basics of creating the Contact Us form in HTML and PHP. What is the Contact Us form? Well, if you go ahead and head to my site, Gorilla3D.com, and you click on Contact, you notice that it says my email, and if you click on it, it'll bring up your default mail client. But right below it, it says your name, email, website type, and your inquiry. This is a basic Contact Us form using HTML and PHP. When you submit this form, hitting the submit button after you fill out these um, inputs, it sends an email to me saying what you've asked through what I've given you. Um, so I'll be going over the basics of how to create a contact us form in PHP and HTML. The first step is to use uh, a server that's running that has SendMail built into it. If you're using a localized version of XAMPP, through my previous tutorials, you most likely do not have a working version of SendMail, which is why I'm actually using my web host manager, or my, my web server, um, to do this tutorial because it's not actually working. Um, I'll go ahead and post a few links to actually show you, or at least you can read up on, on how to get that working on your Windows box if you are using Windows. Um, there's also other methods you can use, but for now we're just going to use SendMail. The first thing we're going to need to do is create a folder, and this folder I call just Contact Us. Um, and within this folder, there's three basic files. There's step one, which is the actual inquiry form. Step two, which will rename, or not rename, but will actually process your form. And lastly, step three is a confirmation or thank you for submitting your contact um, inquiry. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and head over to Optuna Studio Community Edition and start throwing up some HTML. Um, so we got our HTML tag, our head tag, with a nice little title, and we're going to name this title Contact Us. Wow. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and dive right into the body. And let's go ahead and use the form attributes. Now before we even start filling out some more HTML elements, let's go ahead and just think about this form attributes or tag. There's a, a few attributes in here that we're going to use. The first one is called action. Action is telling you where to go after they click on submit. And this is going to go to step 2.php. Notice that it's .php and that is our, also our file name. It will have to be .php in order for you to actually start using PHP code. And then we're going to also use method. Method is how you actually want to send your request. If you're using git and you see all those question marks and ampersands and equal signs, that's usually the git method. If you use post, post it is actually sent a bit more invisibly, and that is what we're going to use. All right, so to say something we want from them is their name. And when we also want their email. And then we actually want their actual inquiry. So let's just say inquiry. And what we're going to use for our HTML tag is the input. Um, the input allows you to type stuff into a single line box. All right. And an attribute we're going to use from that is type. There are several types. The type we're going to use for this specific one is actually text. And then there's also name. Name is something you'll need to remember because when we start messing with the PHP side, it'll tell us what they typed in. So we're going to say this is their username. And then we're just going to end it. give another break line. And again, we're going to use another input type equals text and then for this name we're gonna say email and our last one or actually not our last one but our next one will be a text area not an input a text area allows us to type multiple lines into a single um, area and rows is actually how many lines display at once before you start scrolling. Let's go ahead and give them seven rows. 
and Coles means columns, and that's how many characters display across your screen before they start scrolling, say 70 characters. And lastly, there is the last input, which will actually be our submit button. And again, it's another input, but for type, we use submit. And to actually have text on top of that button, we use the value. So let's say send your inquiry. And that is it. I'm going to go ahead and save this, and then you can quickly preview in Firefox, and it goes our basic form. Now, if we go ahead and submit this, it takes us to php.2, or step2.php, and it does nothing. It doesn't do anything simply because we don't have any of our actual um, H or PHP code. So let's go ahead and jump over to our second file here. It says second, or step2.php. And let's start with some PHP tags. And let's say the username they, or the name they gave us equals. And if you remember, we used the post method. So you're going to be dollar sign underscore post. And post gives you an array of what you sent. So to access that, we use the score brackets. And we also use single quotes and we use the username as what we want to capture for their name. Next, we actually want to capture their email address. So we're going to say email equals post and we use the name email. Um, the last value we, will, we captured was the actual inquiry. So let's say text equals and again, dollar underscore post. Now, if you use git instead of post, it would actually be git. Um, so, I think it was. What did we name this? Oh, we didn't even give this name. So, our name that we're going to give the sex area is actually inquiry. And again, see and notice how these directly correlate to our PHP files as far as the name equals and the posts we are getting from. So now we can do a simple little test here and say echo name dot break line dot and email. This doesn't do anything other than display what they submitted, but it gives you a basic example of how the data is actually transmitted. Just going to go back and give this a name here. So my name is Billy Bob, and my email is Bob at Billy.com. So I had to submit it, and it says Billy Bob and Bob at Billy.com. So that gives you a little taste of how you can actually pass variables to um, PHP through form in pure HTML. All right, now let's actually start to go over the basic email function that is built into PHP that will allow us to magically create this contact us form.